Lord Jesus, we will be, we will be ever strong for you, for Uncle Dean, Lord Jesus, for his memory. Bless the children who are remaining and us. Go to the sweet shop to get a mitai or a savory. Needless to say, they came home with their bellies full, but their coffers empty. Even people who did not know him personally feel that dreadful sense of loss. It can be said that his phenomenal gift of entertainment, not just on the stage, but in daily life, his humor, but most of all his compassion and the ability to draw to himself people of all walks of life, faiths, communities, cultures, and races set him apart from much of humanity. He was an extraordinary child. He hated going to school. No matter what school my parents put him in, he tried to avoid going as much as he could. On hindsight, we now realize that a conventional school system stifled and threatened to kill his creative spirit, which is why Uncle Lee was a man that no one could figure out. A man so misunderstood. A man so misjudged. But nonetheless, he treaded, he treaded on this way. And last night, as I was told that I had to speak, I just wanted to do something that Uncle Lee would often do. And I was in my room. I sat by my table. And I said, it was not a prayer, but it just, uh, like Uncle Lee was there, I said, Uncle Lee, I want to do what you normally do. When he's faced with moments of not knowing where to turn to, when he's faced with trials and indecision, he would often just pray in his heart to us to read it and take it to heart that we may run when we have read it, when we have heard it. And that will be the grace of God and that will be the the, for honor to kneel, that we run. And it's a <clears throat> first and foremost an honor to our Lord and Master, Lord Jesus. Uh, we have been given forgiveness of sins. Oh uh -huh.